Hello everybody, that's why here. Uh, this is a Java for Beginners uh, tutorial. In this program, I am going to do another code that print out Boolean statement. We have seen one example before, and this is going to be our second example to code a Java program that give us uh, the output of uh, true or false. So we're going to create uh, uh, our class. We're going to do the same procedure we were doing. i um, make this boolean2. Uh, let me make it boolean02 or just boolean2. That doesn't matter. And then I'll use main method here as well. In this program, um, I'm going to define three integers. Int, uh, let's, let's say x equals 40. Another one int um, y equals, let me say, 60, and another int, uh, z, z, sorry, equals, gonna make this, um, let me make it 50. Okay, we're gonna use these integers to print out, comparing them to print out a true or false so this is how we define. We can either define like this, uh, as shown you, uh, showed you in my previous, in somewhere in my lesson, that we can define just like this, or we can do, can define two times. Uh, can say like, okay, we defined x is int, and then we can say x is equal to 80. That's also possible, but I prefer the previous one, x is equal to 80. So it's this line defines two special things, even three, that it is an int, that x is an int, and x is also equivalent to 80. So as we are in the main method, we don't have to do that static. If we define it up over here outside the main method, we should change this to static static variable about static I have another program on that other talk on that so please refer to that so let's say we well, let's use combination of this so I'm gonna print system dot out print I'm gonna say let's compare this this thing uh, let's say x is less than z let's say x is less than z and uh, z is less than y okay so what they're gonna be so this evaluate this if this is true and if this is true it will give us a logic uh, a combination of true and true is true and or true and the false is false and so on so so it's going to be false because uh, x is less than z which is false and z is less than y which is true so this is false and the true uh, will give us false um, maybe uh, about logical operat operators please refer to logical uh, operations in the section uh, logical operations can also uh, compare any of this uh, or i can use mathematical formula as before or i can compare let's say i will print out this one x is equal to z so i can compare system print out if x is equal to z what does it give me? It gives me false. I have to print uh, a space here. System dot out print. So that gives me, sorry, that print line gives me an empty space, just a line between this one and this one. So that can fall below the first print that's what the purpose of this one is and if i print as usual that it is so this says x and um, z are not equal 
if I change that to uh, 50, I can reassign that. Now it will be evaluated to true. Okay, that's one. The other one we can we can do is we can actually use just a boolean itself, one one item, which is we have done like uh, earlier we defined the, uh, in in our example one we defined just one boolean and we compare that as well. So and this is very simple code to get boolean output okay i hope that's clear and i'm gonna stop this uh here so that won't be too long for you thank you very much and I'll see you in the next program